Hello and welcome back to the final third and it's another Football Manager 21 experiment video. So basically the gist of the video. So we've had a look at the FIFA rankings and we picked three countries that are in the, the, the 90s. We've created three players in three different positions to see who can take their country the furthest in the first 20 years. So let's get straight into the video and let me show you the players. So here we are then as you can see we've got our three players. We've got Daviti Shanturia, a Georgian. We've got Marco Hintgen, a Luxembourger. I think Luxembourger is said right, I think so. And Kostas Satsias, a Cypriot. So let's first take a look at Daviti Shanturia. Okay, so I've put them all basically at 16 years old, round about the same like date of birth, just to make it a little bit fair. So as you can see, we put Daviti uh, as a right midfielder, um, inside forward is probably the best role suited for him. Now, his current ability for all of these players are a 100. They all start at 100 and they've got potential to be 200, as you can see on the screen, where... Daviti's determination is 20 and flares 20 already at the age of 16. Uh, I've given two player traits to each player. So um, Daviti's ones are likes to beat the man repeatedly and cuts inside from the right wing, which will suit his inside forward role. Preferred foot is either for all three players as well. Personality, professional. A little bit more information about Daviti. No media opinion, which is interesting, but obviously nobody really knows of him yet. Uh, professional personality, which is very good, is what you need. Uh, of course, I have said that all three players can speak fluent English as well, which is which is all right. Eligibility, uh, Georgia. Um, place of birth, Tbilisi. I think I've got that right. He currently plays for Dinamo Tbilisi in the Georgian uh, National League. He's going to be quite quick, which will be very interesting. Um, he is valued at 350k and he's on 55 pound a week which is interesting let's move on now to Marco Hintgen the Luxembourger so he obviously is 16 again valued 185 again very similar attributes um, to Daviti he is a striker however and I put his uh, player traits at moves into channels and places shots so ideally his main role will probably be a poacher. He's five foot eight and he's sixty K also. A little bit more info. Um he can speak uh English as well. But place of birth Steinsel in Luxembourg. Uh positive he hopes to learn a lot while at Minerva Lentgen, which is the team that he plays for in Luxembourg in the first division. But they are amateur. So it's very interesting because um, Daviti now will play for Tbilisi, a professional club with a two, two and a half star reputation. And Marco will obviously he's play for this team with obscure reputation. So I wonder how that's going to play a part in his development, whether he'll seem to progress more because he'll be playing against weaker players. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on to a Cypriot, Kostas Stati Statsias. I should have done it a bit, you, you know, a better name, shouldn't I? An easier one, but there we are. Again, very similar to the other three, but this time he's a left winger. Uh, he's valued at 145k. And his player traits are runs with ball down the left and tries tricks. I thought yeah, it might be a nice one. He is a winger, of course. Um, let's just have a little bit more information about him. Of course, again, speak English. Uh, place of birth, I didn't actually put that in, never mind. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how these boys uh, progress. Uh, I'm going to leave them in my shortlist. Again, Statsias obviously is on £55 a week because he plays for Apoel. We're again a professional team. So it would be very interesting to see how Daviti and Kostas get on more than Marco because he plays for the amateur team. So let's have a little bit more of a chat. So Luxembourger, of course, at 98th in the world rankings. Georgia are 92nd and Cyprus or Cypriots or whatever are 95th. So they're all around about the same one. So basically, in the next 20 years, 25 years possibly, which player will have taken his country furthest up the rankings? That is what we're looking at to see which one of these can actually do better. So if we now sim the first season and see how these boys 
got on. Let's go for it. Hello and welcome back. So here we are. We simmed a year into the future just to see how the boys got on. So let's have a quick look on our player shortlist. So good start so far. Now let's talk first about the average rating for Costas 7.16 valued at a million. Daviti Shanturia, I don't know what's happened to him, but there's no information. Marco Hintigan, 7.66 uh, average rating, 180. Now, I don't know what's happened. Let's check with Shanti, uh, Daviti first what's happened. So, as you can see, his stats have gone up, his attributes have gone up a lot, actually. He's had nine caps for the under 21s, two goals. He's only played seven games this season. Seven games, one goal, and an average of 6.96. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. That's very interesting. Let's go to Marco now. He's had eight caps already for Luxembourg, and he's scored four goals. So that's a very good start for him. Some of his attributes have gone up. Bravery he's shot right up, which is nice. Everything else seems to have stayed pretty much similar. Leadership's gone up as well. Career stats. So there we are. So 30 games and 23 goals, 6 assists. So that's a very good start for Marco. But it's good to see that he's played 8 games and scored 4 goals. So I wonder. Let's just check. 98. So who did he actually play against then? So Marco playing against Ireland when they lost 4-1. Marco again scored against Latvia. They were on 3-1. Serbia. They lost 3-0, but a 1-0 win against Denmark, and Marco scored, so that's a very good start for Marco. Let's just check Daviti again. Okay, so he hasn't played a senior game, but that's fine. Now, the big thing I can see is that Costas has already agreed a transfer somewhere else. Let's just click here first. Wow, his some of his attributes have gone up very fast. He is doing very nicely. Career stats, 34 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, which is not amazing. But he's only 16. He's sem they're 17 now, obviously, but he was 16. That's 7.09, which is interesting. Let's just see. He's played 11 caps already for Cyprus and scored 2 goals. Let's just see these games. So, 2 1 win against Hungary, 3 0 loss to Russia, a 2 1 win against Moldova, where Kostas scored, 3 0 defeat to Switzerland, 3 0 defeat to Germany, which is not too bad actually. But the big talking point of Kostas is that he's agreed to join Lyon next season, or this season, shall I say. Yes, he's agreed a 1.4 million plus, so I'm not really sure. But that is very interesting that he's already agreed. A bit strange that the average agent doesn't come up here for some reason, but that's fine. So, season one, and one of the boys has already, has already agreed to go. And he's going to Leon, which is a big move for Costas. But he has improved immensely, hasn't he? With those, look at that. Fair play. So, where are... So, 91st Cyprus. We need to keep an eye on this. And Georgia and 86, so they've moved quite a bit actually. They moved quite a bit, even though he hasn't played for them. Somehow they've managed to move up. So there we are. And that is the first episode of this experiment. So next episode will be five years into the future. Where we'll see where the boys have ended up and see how they get on for their national teams. So please join us for the second episode uh, soon. Thank you very much.